Roxanne is not fully aware of our family situation. Lynn, client is okay. I got it from here. All right, how about a round of shots from the Butte boys? Uh, I'm not thirsty anymore. Excuse us. You did some work for uh, Spencer Truman recently, didn't you? Winnie, you forged my signature on some documents from a morgue in Kentucky. An autopsy report, uh, some papers are related to Margaret Cochran's death. I haven't seen Spencer Truman since he was a kid running cars with his dad. Yeah. What about the heart transplant that you got? And the hospital where Spencer Truman was on staff. And you, you shot right to the top of the waiting list there. So? So you must have crossed paths with him at the hospital. I don't remember. You know how many doctors I saw in that hospital? You know what? I think we should take this conversation back to your place because I'll bet you've got some stuff there that could jog your memory. You got a warrant? I'm not a cop anymore, thanks to you. Then we're done here. Lenny! Hey, Lenny! Guy didn't even say goodbye. Hey, did you get anything out of him? Bo, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll figure some other way to get him. You guys got one of Lenny's markers? Uh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> well, good luck getting your money, because that guy can be a real slippery dude. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. The guy he works for is even slipperier. So much for brotherly love! <sighs> What's wrong, Spencer? Couldn't follow through with it? You're my brother, David. I could never hurt you. I love you. Well, you got a sick way of showing it. Why don't we just leave McBain out of this whole thing? Whatever it is that you think you're remembering, David, it just doesn't matter anymore. No deal! You let me believe that I was a murderer for 25 years! It is your turn to shoulder that burden. Michael? Um, that's Tommy, over there. And to walk in, just as I was giving Kevin a piece of my mind about the cruel way that he was treating you. And, and of course, Clint felt that he had to defend Kevin, obviously. It, it hurt him very much to hear the truth told about his son. Well, maybe it wasn't the truth. Oh, please. Kelly, don't tell me you're thinking of forgiving Kevin for the cruel right, way. Not, that he not one more word. Him. Not one more word or I'm leaving. I'm serious. No, Kelly, No, please, I'm please. serious. I'm going to handle the problems I have with Kevin on my own, okay? Great, because at least I can tell that you haven't totally lost your mind because you just said that you remember that the two of you do have problems. Yes, of course, but Dorian, he came by yesterday and... And? And we talked. We talked about Duke and me and what happened, and he seems like he really wants to move beyond this and stop hating me so much. He seemed really sincere. Oh, he always does! Oh, Kelly, please be very careful. Don't, don't, don't let this man get any closer to you again. All he ever does is hurt you. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. It's late, all right? All right. Honey, you might need your purse. Okay. I'm not looking in your bag or anything, but this happened to be sticking out. Shortbread cookies? Short? Kelly, you haven't eaten shortbread cookies since you were pregnant. All right. That's crazy. Go, I can't have a few cookies. My God. I'll be accused of being pregnant. You know how many hours you have to work out to work off all those short... I hope it's not too late to be dropping in. It's never too late for you. Please come in. You look like you need to talk. I do. Whatever you gotta say, just say it, Vickers. I know something about the gun that Spencer used to shoot your father. 
And so just when we thought we had this guy, Roxanne Balsam shows up and totally blows our cover. Oh, no. Hell, yes. And that was the end of Bo's plan to get his badge back. Oh. Well, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm also sorry that y you couldn't help your brother. Yeah, me too. But I feel better talking to you about it. I'm glad. The last time that we were together, I'm sorry that we were interrupted. Yeah, me too, but, well, you did have to take care of your daughter. I did. But I have been thinking that there are a few ways that you could make it up to me. That is such a coincidence. Because I got a few of myself. Yeah. Why don't we take this upstairs and compare notes? I'd like that. Doreen, I think that you're a very special woman. And I am so glad that we cut through the bull of who we were, who we are who we're supposed to be with, who we're not supposed to be with. And I'm just glad that we're able to come together like this. I'm glad, too. I'm very glad. Can I fix you a drink? That's not what I need right now. Dorian? What's the matter? Nothing. It's not as if it's my first time. <laughs> Though, you got to admit, it's been a long time, you know, since, you know, for us. What are you afraid of? <laughs> Nothing. Wow, I'm articulate, aren't I? <laughs> are you sure that I can't fix you a drink? Positive. I'm happy to be here. And I'm very happy to be here with you. <laughs> 